So today I want to explain a strategy for working with English language learners. Uh, it's a type of graphic organizer called advanced organizers. And these are different than graphic organizers in the way that, in the content that they tackle. So these differences are that they are that they focus more on the the content and the individuals uh, learning objectives uh, as opposed to just illustrating a new concept um, they also they also call for a higher level of abstraction Um, in the student's thinking. So what they are is a, um, it's using charts and diagrams um, to help the student master the content and the language. And there are three phases to the to presenting the advanced organizer three phases uh, the first one is going to be uh, clarify the learning objectives and present the organizer to the student and the second phase is going to be present the new materials and also make sure that you present it in uh, a logical organization or a logical progression so that the student can really see how this material is related to their previous experience. The third phase is when the student takes an active role in participating in their own learning, takes ownership of their own learning, and uh, uses their critical thinking to compare their organizer with the material that um, is being presented that day. So some of the key ideas that we need to take away from this is that uh, the materials need to be organized uh, logically and um, the student needs to be able to integrate the new knowledge with their prior knowledge. Perfect, and there's your example of an advanced organizer. Thank you.